What's up everybody, welcome back, this is Forgo, and today we're going to find out just what is the difference between a regular CTPO judgment and the mighty CTPO judgment. Now this CTPO judgment doesn't have the best roll stats, but the increased additional type skill damage by 30% is pretty nice, and the increased additional type skill damage by 60% of concentration is pretty cool. I believe this is a, this the max is additional type skill damage by 40%, and the increased additional type skill damage goes up to 70%. So it's a pretty good roll, and it does have a 200% damage prop now the way that it's explained to me is that and the devs evidently confirmed this shout out to tom from the last couple of videos who let me know about this is that the proc actually what it does is it just increases the elements of the said elemental character so in ebony's case it's going to increase his mind damage in super giant's case it's going to increase her mind damage you know in uh human torch's case it's going to increase his fire damage and so on and so on and so on. Now, this particular CTP of Judgment has a all basic attack increase by 18.9% and the chain hit damage is actually 14.1% and it does have the damage proc on it. Whereas Super Giants actually has 28% all attack and the chain hit is by 15%. So the chain hit is almost identical, but the all attack proc is different. You know, we do have 10% more all attack on this regular CTP of Judgment versus the other one, but we do have a 200% damage proc. So we're just going to jump into World Boss and we're going to see, you know, what is the difference? I'm just going to do the first phase of Null because I'm actually really curious about this. We're just going to go all the way up to stage 39 and let's set up a team here. Uh, we can put Ebony over there and then we can set up Proxima in the center for that little extra ignore dodge and then we can put in Super Giant over here and that'll be a pretty good team right we're gonna have pretty much max ignore dodge for the most part i mean we're gonna get 45 percent here and then from super giants awaken skill we'll get 70 percent ignore dodge so there will be some rotations where we don't get the max ignore dodge but we'll see how it plays out now a big advantage to not having a type amplification proc is you don't have to wait that 10 second period to build up the bars right Proc, uh, super giant has very low cooldowns on her skills so we actually can rotate through our skills a little bit more often uh, let me see. It really doesn't matter. We're just throwing this guy. Uh, we'll throw in her. Actually, we'll throw these two. There we go. So let's see what the difference really is. And maybe this test would be better suited, like, uh, on a different level where we have max ignore dodge at all times. And we might do that. Let me see here. All right. So we'll run up here. And... Okay, so we did almost down to the 43rd bar, almost the 53rd bar, I'm sorry. Almost to the 53rd bar in the first rotation, so that's something to remember. Okay, we'll run up. And that would have taken about 10 seconds anyways to run back down there and build up that the type amplification prop. Okay, so she does about two bars of damage. Alright, oh man, we got time frozen, that's not good. Just for a little bit though, we only lost a couple seconds. Okay, nice. We're just going to see how long this actually takes us to delete the first phase. Nice, nice, nice. So we didn't get caught in the cage, that's good. Yeah, she does about two bars of damage with just her regular skills. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. And... And I want to do this with Super Giant because she's just a really, really easy character to play. Get up there. And we should have it now. Oh, not quite, not quite, not quite. And her skills don't get interrupted once you set them off. So, I mean, it took about a minute 30. It took about a minute 30 with the regular CTP of Judgment. Now this is where it gets a little expensive. We get to spend some crystals, unfortunately. So we need to unequip this thing here. Woof, 800 crystals. Oh, that hurts, that hurts, that hurts. And then we also got to unequip this one right here. Okay, so unequip that. 1400 crystals down the drain. We'll slap this on her. Now let's see what she does. Now remember, she has 10% less all attack than what she just had. Now I'm actually really, really curious about this. Now remember, she got down to the 
near the 53rd bar, just the very bottom end of the 54th bar on our first rotation. We're going to make sure we build that type of amplification prop first. Okay. And... Rock up. Now she does lose a little bit of that proc. And I mean, yeah, slightly more damage. And we did get caught in the cage. Okay. And now we're gonna do one, two. Well, no, I mean, she, she did almost three bars right there and we were doing about two bars a second ago. So yeah, it is doing more damage. I think what it is, is that we're losing a lot of the beatdown, or I'm sorry, the type amplification prog from waiting on the awakened skill is what's really going on here. I think that's what's really hurting us because whenever you just hit her skills, oh crap, we got caught in the cage. Whenever you just hit her skills, oh, now we're getting caught in tornadoes. So lots of bad things are happening in this run. But like right here, we're going to do, let's see, one, two. I mean, she's doing more damage. Two and three quarters bars, something like that. There we go. And this was a bad run, guys. I mean, this was a bad run. We got caught in a lot of things here. I mean, you might as well say, guys, she did it about 10 seconds faster. This is a pretty crappy run. We got caught in quite a few things. So let, let's try it again and see what we can do. All right, so I'm gonna do this again because my testing is, is kind of wacky here and it's really because of timing that amplification proc. So we're gonna try to do this the best I can here. There we go. Perfect, perfect. We got all the type amplification proc on the 5423 and it's really kind of a pain with Supergiant because she has such a long delayed Awaken skill that thing will use two seconds of your time now whenever you're just doing your five four two three and you got the Amplification proc built up. It's not so bad Because you're only going to lose about a second delay in the five. So it's it's not really so bad There we go, and I'm just gonna do five four two three right there. We don't even have the proc built up, okay? And Yeah, we're using up the proc right there. So I mean it sucks because she still moves around a lot of times. Now we need to get out of here. Hopefully don't get caught in the cage. See, that's killing our time a little bit because we had such a good run in that first run. And I just keep getting caught in that damn cage. Ah, eh, crap. There we go. And... And I'm just going to hit the five... Four, two, three here. And let's see how this works out. So, I mean, as you guys can see, it is faster, right? It is faster. It's about 10 seconds faster. And throughout an entire five minute run, you know, you're looking at, you know, around 30 seconds, maybe a little bit, 30, 40 seconds faster for an entire run if played properly. But with Supergiant specifically, it's really, really tricky because you don't want to build up the beatdown. Because she has such a delayed, uh, because her awakened skill is delayed for about two seconds. If you have that, uh, I keep wanting to say beatdown proc, but if you have that type amplification proc already built up, if you have that bar completely built up, and then you try to use your awakened skill, it's going to use two seconds of that five second proc which sucks. So you literally have to like go up there with four bars instead of five full bars at the bottom here. All right, so look at her bars here. I'll show you. All right, we're going to go ahead and hit the wake skill before we fully build it up. She moves and there it's fully built up. And then we get the five, four, two, three with the entire five second duration of the prop, right? And if I wouldn't get time frozen and get caught in all this crap, we really would have an even better difference in our uh, damage outcome here. But I keep getting caught here over and over and over. And then whenever you're doing your 5, 4, 2, 3, then you can just have the proc, the beatdown proc completely built up, or the type amplification proc completely built up. Now I'm just going to hit the 4, right? And just go in the 5, 2, 3 here afterwards, right? And she's already... And there we get the entire type amplification proc built up again. So I'm playing the proc really, really well. 
God dang it, we got caught again. You know, we didn't get we didn't get caught once in that first run. But obviously, you know, whenever we do these tests, then we get caught and we get caught in tornadoes over and over and over. We lost a lot of time because of that. And this actually was a really good run. Okay, and she's moving around whenever we're using her skills here. Okay. Now there, I timed my type invocation proc wrong. Right, I timed it wrong a little bit, but if we wouldn't have got caught in those tornadoes, if we wouldn't have got caught in the cage, this time would have been a little bit better. I mean, I'm pretty sure we could have done it in about a minute and probably, I mean, we probably could shave off a good 10 seconds, five to 10 seconds. So really the mighty CTP of judgment, at least with the roles that I have compared to a regular CTP of judgment, even though we're losing 10% all attack is actually gaining about, uh, about 40, 40, 45 seconds, maybe in an entire run for super giant. But that's only if you're playing her properly. That's only if you're timing the proc, because you know, whenever you play her specifically, Again, her awakened skill is delayed for two seconds. So if you have that type of invocation proc built all the way up, you're going to lose two seconds of that proc whenever you're waiting for the to finish the awakened skill to do all the damage from it. Now, if you just cancel immediately and go in the 5423, maybe that's a different story, but you're not going to do as much damage because you still want all that residual damage from the awakened skill. That's something that I was testing whenever I was uh, going through my editing process on this video. So even though it's stronger on Super Giant, I find that it, it can be a bit difficult to play, but I mean, on another character, it would make a bigger difference. If it's on a character where you can just cancel your skills immediately for the most part, I mean, even a character like Psylocke would actually be a much better choice for something uh, like this, because you can just cancel her skills pretty quick for the most part, except for her four skills. You just got to delay it for about half a second to a second. So she's actually much better for a mighty CTP of judgment, but really for super giant, I think I would prefer just to have the all attack proc for her instead of having the type invocation, because you really got a time whenever you build up type invocation proc. So that way you can get the entire five second duration when you're doing the awaken skill five, four, two, three. So let me know how you're all feeling about this little comparison between the regular CTB of Judgment and the mighty CTB of Judgment. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GND plus seven time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Y'all take care and have a good one. See ya.